Testing divine intervention on your half in a political campaign, an ad where you describe yourself as a Christian leader, an ad where many thought a cross was imposed, superimposed Which behind your back. It was not. Bank. It was a bookshelf. And, I wish we were so smart. I and, really do. And then this comment. Uh, I hope we answer the alarm clock and take this nation back for Christ. Which was, by the way, that, that phrase was one, I think, was 1998. Is that when it was? The 1998 speech? Yeah. To the Southern Baptist Convention. So it was a, a speech made to a Christian gathering. And, and certainly that would be appropriate to be said to a gathering of Southern Baptists. But where does this leave non-Christians? Oh, it leaves them right in the middle of America. I think the Judeo-Christian uh, background of this country is one that respects people not only of faith, but it respects people who don't have faith. The, the key issue of real faith is that it never can be forced on someone. And never would I want to use the government institutions to impose mine or anybody else's faith or to restrict. I think the First Amendment, Tim, is explicitly clear. Government should be restricted, not faith, government. And government's restriction is on two fronts. One, it's not to prefer one faith over another. And the second, it's not to prohibit the practice of somebody's religion. So you'd have period. no problem appointing atheists to your cabinet? No, I wouldn't have any problem at all appointing atheists. I probably had some working for me as a governor. Um, you know, th I think you've got to realize, if you, people want to say, well, you were a pastor, but I was a governor ten and a half years. I had more executive experience running a government. I was actually in a government position longer than I was a pastor. And if people want to know how I would uh, blend these issues, the best way to look at it is how I served as a governor. I didn't ever propose a bill that we would remove the Capitol Dome of Arkansas and replace it with a steeple. Uh, you know, we didn't do tent revivals on the grounds of the Capitol. Uh, but my faith is important to me. I, I try to be more descriptive of it. I just don't want to run from it and act like it's not important. It drives my views on everything from the environment to poverty to disease to hunger. Issues, frankly, I think the Republicans need to take a greater leadership role in. And as a Republican, but as a Christian, I would want to make sure that we're speaking out on some of these issues that I think we've been lacking in as a party and uh, as, as a nation.